What's up everyone, this is Adam from NerdMentality.com and I would like to show you guys how to get your 3D video from your Nintendo 3DS onto YouTube and have it display properly in 3D because apparently that is quite a feat. It's very simple to make a mistake or skip a step or something. Um, unfortunately, you can't just upload it to YouTube straight from the 3DS's SD card. If you do do that, then it will not display properly in 3D. It'll look very, very strange. It'll annoy you, it'll annoy your viewers, and we don't want that. So, this video is going to go over pretty much exactly the same things that the written tutorial goes over. But you know, some people prefer to read tutorials, and others prefer to watch tutorials. So now you have both at your disposal. Now, this tutorial is going to be showing you how to do this on a Macintosh machine. If you'd like to learn how to do it on Windows, go here. If you can't see annotations, you're viewing on your cell phone or something, the link to the video is down in the description. So, with that all said, let me show you what we need. Obviously, we need our Nintendo 3DS, and it needs to be upgraded with firmware 3.0.0-5 or later. The way you can tell what firmware your 3DS has, let's see if we can get a good angle. All right, that's not bad. Go down to your system settings and just click A. Then you see right up here at the top, it tells you the version number. So again, if that reads 3.0.0-5 or above, you are good to go. The next thing we'll need is an SD card, which comes in the 3DS. So we got that right here. Now it is recommended that you turn the 3DS all the way off before you take the SD card out. You'll notice that I didn't. Um, if you choose not to turn the 3DS off when you take it out, just make sure that you're at the home screen and you're not using an application, especially one that uses the SD card, such as the camera application or something. The next thing we'll need is an SD card reader. I have an external card reader and it connects via USB, but some computers already have these built into them. Then, of course, we need a computer. We need some video editing software. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro 10. And then, of course, we need an internet connection and a YouTube account. Now, believe it or not, 3D glasses and a 3D-enabled monitor are not required. YouTube has a lot of different 3D viewing options, and one of them doesn't require glasses at all. You just cross your eyes and you can kind of see a 3D image. Um, obviously, that'll put a lot of strain on your eyes, so it is recommended to get some 3D glasses. So the easiest way to do that is just to get these dual color 3D glasses. You know, you've got your old red and blue 3D glasses, and you can view these on any type of screen. It doesn't have to be 3D enabled at all. It could just be your normal computer monitor. Or if you do have a 3D enabled monitor, you will have to have, you know, some kind of special glasses that work with your computer and its software. For me, I'm using NVIDIA 3D Vision, and these are the NVIDIA Active Shutter glasses. And that is all that you need to do this process. So now let's get started. All right, so the first step to all of this is obviously to get some 3D video from the 3DS. So in order to do that, we go to the Nintendo 3DS camera, wait for that to open. And then once that is up, make sure that you click on this little video camera icon up top so that we're shooting videos and not photos. And then from there, we're pretty much ready to shoot in 3D. So press A to start recording. Hey guys, this is Adam from NerdMentality.com and this video is going to be a result of getting the 3D video from the 3DS to YouTube using a Macintosh machine. And then press A again to stop recording. And then, of course, you can come down here and mess with some of these options. If you don't see these buttons, you know, just press this little red lever to bring them up. So, you know, you can come over here, do the different special shooting modes, interval, stop motion, montage. Or you can come over here, click this, you know, do low light, go to the manual controls, adjust some of those, get some different film effects. So, you know, we've got like black and white. Mm, black and white, I'm old. You know, we've got sepia, negative, solarize, all that good stuff. And then that's just shooting as normal, so you know you would press A to start recording, press A again to stop recording. And then, you know, that's pretty much it for shooting on the 3DS. So what we do next, go to the home menu, press the home button, make sure there isn't any suspended software. So we're going to close this either by pressing close down here on the touch screen or by pressing X. Press A to confirm. All right, so now we've got no suspended software. 
So now what we're going to do next is we're going to take the SD card out of the 3DS. Um, I recommend that you turn the 3DS off. Obviously, I didn't. Um, you know, if you don't turn the 3DS off, just make sure you do exactly what I did. You're at the home menu. There isn't any suspended software, especially anything that's using the SD card, such as, you know, Nintendo camera. Uh, so once you've done that, just go ahead and take the SD card out. Open this little flap. And there you go. And then we put the SD card in an SD card reader. Again, mine is external. Yours could be internal. Doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Just put it in there. And there you go. So everything from here on out is going to be on the computer. So let's go to that. All right. So here we are on a Macintosh computer. So I'm just going to plug in my SD card reader. And that should pop up on the desktop. And it does. So I'm just going to double click that. And we want to go to the DCIM folder because that is where the 3DS stores its videos and photos. And then you may notice that there may or may not be multiple folders in here. That's just the 3DS's way of separating photos and videos. So the folders with the lower numbers are going to have photos and videos that were taken earlier, while the higher number folders are going to have photos and videos that were taken more recently. So we're going to click on this latest one, scroll down to the bottom, and this should be the video we just took. So I'm just going to double click and open it to make sure that this is the Mac one and not the Windows one. Hey guys, one. this is Adam from NerdMentality.com and this video is going to be a result of getting the 3D video from the 3DS to YouTube using a Macintosh and machine. And it is, good. So I'm just going to close that. And I'm going to right click and copy it. And you can paste it anywhere you want, but I am going to paste it on the desktop just for simplicity's sake. And next, I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro 10. If you don't have that, there is a link in the description for a 30-day trial. So once we have Final Cut Pro open, we're going to go to Import Files and navigate to wherever we saved our video. So I put mine on the desktop, and actually it's already there. Great. So I'm just going to click it and click Import. And you'll see our clip over here in the Event Browser and then over here in the Viewer. So now what we're going to do is right-click or Control-click and go to Open in Timeline. And then it'll open up here down in the Timeline. And first thing you'll notice is that there are actually two videos. That is because one of them is from the right camera and one of them is from the left camera of the 3DS. And it's important for us to know which one is which. So in order to do that, you can click on this top one, come up to Clip, and go to Disable. Notice that the hotkey is V. I'm going to be using that from now on just because it's faster. So you can see when we disable that track, the video and the viewer kind of changed angles a little bit. So I'm just going to press V again to re-enable that top track. And one more time to disable it. Okay. So it looks like when I disable this top track that the bottom track is more of a right angle. So that means that this bottom track is the right video and the top track is the left video. So that's good to know. Now the reason we have to know that is because we're going to basically simulate a side-by-side -side half video, which is one of the 3D formatted videos that YouTube accepts. So what that means is that we're going to take one of these videos, shrink it down, put it on the left side, take the other video, shrink it down, and put it on the right side. So when we're finished, we're basically going to have both videos in the video frame at the same time. So in order to do that, first thing we're going to do is press V again to re-enable this track, and then just double check and make sure that this top video is clicked. So it is, good. And then come over here to this little I button, click it, and that brings up the inspector. Now what we're going to do is come over here to this little transform bar, double click it, and that brings up some new options for us. And then come down here to this little scale option, click on this triangle to give us more options. And what we want to do is we want to scale this video horizontally, so basically we're just going to shrink its width. So what that means is we're going to come over to this X, double click on the 100, and enter in 50, so that it's 50% of its original width. And then you see here in the viewer that our video is now shrunk, that's good, that's exactly what we want. And now the next step is just to move this over to the left side of the frame. So come over here to position, X, double click on the zero, and we're going to enter in negative 50. And that's going to move it to the left side of the frame. And you see it did just that. Perfect. So great, that was easy. Now we just need to do that for the other video track. So click on the bottom video track. And remember, this one is going to be on the right. So we come up back here to the little transform bar. We click on the triangle for scale if it's not already expanded. Come over to X, change it from 100 to 50 so that it shrinks, and then come over to position X, and this time instead of doing negative 50, we're going to do positive 50 so that it moves to the right. Perfect. So now you see that we've got one camera angle on the left, and we've got one on the right. So I'm just going to scrub through this, kind of preview it, make sure everything looks good, and it does. 
Perfect. And now all we need to do is just output this video. So in order to do that, we come up here to share, go to export media, and then that's gonna bring up a new window. And you see it gives us a few options. Uh, obviously you wanna export the video and the audio, so leave that as it is. Uh, the most important thing is you wanna click here on the video codec dropdown box and change it to H.264. So click on that. And then you can click on this after export drop-down box. Um, you don't have to change anything if you don't want to. You can have it open in QuickTime Player when it's done recording or you can do nothing. Just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna have it open in QuickTime Player just so you guys can see what it looks like when it's done. So once you've done all that, just click on next. And of course we need to name our video and tell it where we wanna save it. So I'm just gonna save mine to the desktop and I'm going to call this Macintosh tutorial, whoops, tutorial, and go down to save. And there you go, it'll render out and when it's done, it'll pop up in QuickTime if you asked it to do that. So let's just play this and see what it looks like. Hey guys, this is Adam from NerdMentality.com and this video is All right, good. Obviously it's not in 3D, 3D yet. Video from the 3D That's F2 fine, it's not supposed to be. Macintosh machine. Okay, cool. So the next thing we need to do is go to YouTube. So bring up an internet browser and head on over to YouTube. And of course, make sure that you're signed into your account. If you're not, you know, go ahead and sign in. Uh, so go to upload, click on the select files from your computer button. We're gonna navigate to where we saved the video. So that's gonna be on my desktop. Click on the video and hit choose. And then we have to wait for it to upload. Of course, this is a very small file, so that took like two seconds. Uh, but you know, go ahead, name your uh, name your video, put in a description and some tags if you want. You know, change, change its privacy. I'm gonna make this private because you guys uh, you guys can't see it until the tutorial's up. So, and then save changes. And then, of course, once it's done uploading, you have to wait for it to finish processing. So that may take a little bit longer. Okay, so now our video is done processing. So you can come down here, click on this link to go to the videos page. And you will see that it's still not in 3D. Don't worry, it's not supposed to be. We still have a few more steps to go. So what we wanna do is come up here to edit video, go to 3D video, and then click this video is already 3D. And then you'll notice hey guys, down here, there you go. That's that's looking pretty 3D to me. Of getting the 3D video from the 3DS to YouTube using a Macintosh machine. But then just in case you did things a little bit differently than me, there are some other 3D video options that we can choose from. So come up here to this little drop down box and you'll see that we've got four different options. So side by side left video on the left is exactly what we did. Remember we took the left video and we put it on the left side of the frame. Then we took the bottom which was the right and put that on the right side of the frame. So by default, this is the choice that we want. However, if we had kind of reversed that and put the top video, which is the left angle on the right, and then the right video on the left, then we would obviously choose this one. And then top bottom is very similar to side by side, except you know, instead of having one video on the left and one video on the right, one's just gonna be on the top and one's gonna be on the bottom. But again, we did side by side left on left, so we're just gonna choose that and then hit save changes. And there you go, you have now successfully taken your 3D video from the 3DS and put it onto YouTube and made it display properly in 3D. So congratulations. Now there is one more thing I wanna point out, it's just this little 3D button down here. So you can click that, click on change viewing method. Whoops, so we have to be in the middle of the video to see that. So let me do that again. Click on the 3D button, go to change viewing method, and it brings up all of these different 3D viewing methods. And so in case you don't have, you know, red and cyan glasses, you can choose from a bunch of different other things. And then HTML5 isn't so much of an issue on a Macintosh because Macs can't use it as far as I know. But what this option is used for is it's used with NVIDIA 3D Vision, which is a way to view 3D on a Windows computer. So maybe some of you dual boot, maybe some of you have two computers, maybe some of you have friends who have uh, Windows computers. So being on a Macintosh, you personally don't really have to worry about this, but maybe for the sake of your viewers, you want them to be able to watch it in HTML5. So I go over the requirements for that, both in the written tutorial and the Windows video tutorial, and I have links for both of those in the description down below. But as far as you're concerned, all you need to do is just wait, because YouTube takes a little bit more time to add HTML5 support to YouTube video. Everything else I talk about in regards to this is basically just being able to view it with HTML5. So again, being on a Macintosh is not something you really have to worry about, but if you want to, you know, you can take a look at it. 
But other than that, that is pretty much it. So once again, congratulations on getting your 3D video from your Nintendo 3DS onto YouTube. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. Again, you can check out the written tutorial as well. Otherwise, have fun shooting in 3D!